Sonic Adventure 3 may be the most asked for game by the Sonic fandom. And it's been almost 15 years since Sonic Adventure 2 came out and people are still waiting even though Sega hasn't done anything with the Sonic Adventure franchise since. Hey guys, my name is Elijah and today we're going to be looking at all of the evidence we have possibly pointing at Sonic Adventure 3 happening or Sonic Adventure 3 not happening and we're going to conclude once and for all if we have any hope to hold on to at this point. Let's get into it. After the failure and success of Sonic Adventure 2, with it not doing so well on the Sega Dreamcast and then doing very well on the Nintendo GameCube, Sega continued to make games that were similar in the structure of the original Sonic Adventure game, but never quite exactly what people were wanting in a full force Sonic Adventure 3 sequel. We had Sonic Heroes, which had several branching story modes with teams of three, it wasn't a heavy story driven game with different individual character levels. Shadow the Hedgehog went on and had multiple story endings similar to Sonic Adventure 2, however it still wasn't a Sonic Adventure 3 game. When Sonic Unleashed was in development, the Sonic team even stated that they were intending to make the game feel like a Sonic Adventure game, but while the running levels were good, the game really wasn't at all like Sonic Adventure 3. Oddly enough, Sonic 06 is the closest game we've had to a Sonic Adventure 3 game since Sonic Adventure 2 came out and it was literally just unfinished. I feel like the game could have had potential and could have played like that Sonic Adventure 3 game and it might not have had the title Sonic Adventure 3 or maybe they should have just given it the title Sonic Adventure 3, but if they would have polished the game, I feel like that could have just been Sonic Adventure 3. But here we are, 2017 almost 2018 and we still haven't had any Sonic Adventure 3 announcements. We have Sonic Forces coming up and I feel like this will either be the catalyst that leads into a Sonic Adventure 3 or it will be the final nail in the coffin stopping Sonic Adventure 3 from ever happening. Sonic Forces obviously is clearly inspired by Sonic Generations as it has classic Sonic and modern Sonic and a new third character that kind of split up the gameplay. And while this is great that they're branching off of previous games, it doesn't really show that they're interested in making a game that uses more than just the Sonic characters and this new third character. However, despite everything, I am hopeful that we will see a Sonic Adventure 3 game because we are starting to see 3D platformers getting more attention in the last year. We had the release of Ukulele, which was made by the people who worked on the Banjo-Kazooie game, and we saw the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy remake, which did very well on sales, better than anyone expected it to. Because of that, I'm hopeful we might see a Sonic Adventure remake of the two games put on sale on like the modern day consoles like the Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. And if they do that and that is successful, I feel like that's the only opportunity we have for a Sonic Adventure 3 to happen. So what we really need to happen is have Sega go ahead and remaster the Sonic Adventure game and Sonic Adventure 2. The games are old enough, they're in that prime time of interest right now with the retro games kind of becoming popular again. So if Sega goes ahead and does that remaster, that would be the best opportunity of a Sonic Adventure 3 game coming out in the next couple of years. However, if Sonic Forces proves to be extremely successful, it wouldn't make sense for them to go back and remaster an older game to revive the franchise. Sonic Forces will probably just be a continued on genre of Sonic games. Either way, it's good for the Sonic series if we have some good games coming out, but if you want Sonic Adventure 3, we need a remaster and we have to ask Sega. I'd be down for it. I want it to be more like Sonic Adventure 2 than Sonic Adventure 1. I like the team story mode, but I like the individual level still, but it diversifies what the gameplay is like if it splits up in order instead of having to do all of Sonic's levels, all of Big the Cat's levels and stuff like that. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you want a Sonic Adventure 3? I read every single one of my comments, so feel free to disagree, agree with me, or whatever you think. And while this video is over, we do upload brand new videos here on Rocket Sloth every couple of days, so be sure you subscribe for more top lists, gaming discussion, and gaming news here at your new number one source for all things gaming.